And welcome back. This is Butler Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue to the Blue Terran. Wow, I almost got my race wrong. Uh, Blue Terran in the north up against Peonator. The Red Protoss in the east. The map is Scrap Station. I do believe this is the longest rush distance map in the 1v1 maps. Um, this is huge here. Uh, Peonator, um, he started as a random um, player, so I sent this SCV out. I, I mentioned that because I do something a little strange here. I sent the SCV out. I don't catch him while um, the the, the SCV and drone probe pass each other, but once I see that the probe is inside my base, I think about it and I go, you know what? Uh, that's all I really need to know, is what race are you? And once I found out he was Protoss, I figured that was good enough. And here, you can see, I'm not paying attention, and I let the <laughs> probe all the way into the corner and I don't see him there even though I get a marine out I'm going to let that SCV just hang out in the corner and do whatever the hell it wants meanwhile he is going for two gateways and a cybernetics core while I finish off what I think is one of the best block offs I've ever done on this map really um, even though it's not complete and it is against a Protoss player. Um, two barracks going down here. I do get a reactor on that first one, and a tech lab should be going up on the second one, and probe still chilling in the corner. He is going to be chrono boosting the warp gate uh, technology as the zealots come out. A simulator on the way for him, as he does have one gas up already. What else is he going for? Oh, looks like he's going to be going sentries and stalkers. And a pylon up, so we could be seeing a quick warp into the back of my base. I am completely unprepared for this. Almost everything that I have is up front, and by everything I have, I mean three marines, and two of them just came out. Oh, Marauder coming for moral support more than anything else. Warp gate almost done. There it goes. Stalker still coming out. And I am going for a quick uh, starport here. Of course, I you know, I only have that there. Six units, four marines, two marauders out, and I'm going for two starport. Uh, so I really have no defenses early on going for the high tech early on. He's getting another gateway as well as a twilight council. Will we be seeing charge or blink? Doesn't look like either one right now. I am getting my first siege tank out. Um, I have not researched siege tech, uh, but Stimpak just now being researched as well. Engineering bay up, nothing being researched there. He is starting to research charge, so we're going to be seeing charge zealots in this game. And he's chrono boosting it. He wants charge now. He wants to charge that charge. Oh, that was awful. I apologize profusely. Tech Lab going up on the second uh, starport so that hopefully I'll be able to see any observers, but of course there aren't any because he's got a proxy pylon and a zealot! Oh my gosh! And right as I'm going for the expansion, this could not come at a worse time for me. Wow, that was a fail mouse control there. Uh, so yeah, command center there. Oh, so I just spent 400 minerals starting to get missile turrets. Oh my goodness, in comes the tank, and I'm kind of scared to use it because of uh, the massive splash damage that I can do against the SCVs. And here, oh, it looks like that was just a decoy, because he is going to be sending the, the main bulk of his army, all but, you know, those first two zealots, into my main base, and of course I have nothing there. Oh, they're, everybody's out of position. And up they come. Oh. Oh, that that's just sad. 
oh, if I had these guys there, and that, that siege can't could have held these guys off my ramp, even though it probably wouldn't have won the game for me to keep them there, I probably could have held those stalkers and zealots and sentries at bay long enough for me to produce an army to defeat uh, this little push here. So I do lose by a timing attack thanks to a great decoy. I'm not paying attention and he takes advantage of it. Uh, also bad timing on the expansion while I'm, while I'm being attacked. Uh, but that's not something I really could have prevented. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you learned something. Hope you laughed. Hope to see you next time. I'll see you then. Bye.